Assalamualaikum anak-anak Welcome back to my video number 2 On chapters 4 Mechanics of commodity futures trading So we will continue with another method of hedging Which is long hedge Are you ready? Okay, if you can recall what we what you have watched in my video number 1 We have talked about uh, selling or short hedge So as for today, we will continue a buying or long hedge Okay so this hedging is executed by the buyer or refiner. Refiner ni macam refine company yang menapis. Okay. Kruk palm oil, minyak sawin mentah menjadi minyak air lebih suci murni. Or you are producer of edible cooking oil. So if you are buyer or refiner or producer of edible cooking oil, you need to buy the CPO lah. Okay. So, since you are the buyer, buyers are always afraid of the rise of CPO price because the cost of purchase will increase. Okay? Alright? Kalau you nanti, you, you need to buy in the near future, lagi 2 bulan, 3 months. Alright? In another 2 months or 3 months, you need to buy the CPO. If you expect, alright, the price will increase, of course, you have to pay higher cost of purchase. Okay? So, what you can do today? Okay, since sekarang harga masih murah, later on the price of CPO baru naik and also does the price of FCPO. So, hari ni maksudnya harga dia masih rendah. So, what you can do, you will do long hedge. So, so this long hedge will be undertaken if hedger intends to buy CPO futures or FCPO now at lower price and sell it at higher price in the future. Okay, beli murah dulu and then jual pada harga yang lebih mahal and make profit. Okay, so the profit that you make in the futures market today, you can use to cover the expected rising cost of buying physical palm oil or crude palm oil. Okay, again, always remember and uh, the price of CPO in cash market or in the local CPO market is positively related to the price of futures contract or FCPO. Kalau dalam video satu, kita belajar kalau harga jatuh, CPO harga, the price of CPO jatuh, the price of FCPO will also fall. But in this scenario, okay, if the price of CPO increase, the price of FCPO will also increase. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, and vice versa, meaning if the price of CPO decreases, the price of CPO also decreases. And if the price of CPO increases, the price of FCPO will also Increase, okay. Let me uh, tambah and vice versa. Okay. Now, let's continue. Okay. And then, hedging benefit. Okay. Let's take a look at one example for you to understand better about uh, long hedge. Let's say we expect the price of CPO will increase in the future. You, a refiner, need 5,000 tons of palm oil in December 2020 and you strongly believe that the price of the palm oil or CPO will increase between today, when is your today, August, to mid December. Okay, and memang dalam December nanti, you will need to buy 5,000 ton of CPO. In the cash market, currently, the palm oil is trading at 1,200 per ton, while today, as at today as well, the December FCPO is trading at RM1230 per contract. And as expected, in the mid-December, the prices are close at RM1285 and RM1296 in the cash and futures market respectively. So, so show your hedging benefit as measured by an effective price. So this is what you need to do again. So let's highlight what have been given to us. As at today, the CPO is 1,200 and the December FCPO is 1,230 ringgit. <coughs> and then at later date, the CPO is 1,285 and December FCPO is 1,296 ringgit. Okay, so prepare the table. Prepare the table, alright, with, with three columns and three rows. Okay, so in the uh, right uh, not right. Uh, I mean, uh, in the box or, or in the column under cash market, what you need to write down, you write down intend to buy or expect to buy or project to buy or to have. Okay? Kalau saya, saya guna buy lah. Tapi sebab textbook dia guna have. Actually, straightforward lah. 
expect a project to buy 5,000 tons of palm oil in December 2020. The current market price is how much? 1,200. And you expect the price will rise in the future by the time you need to buy in December later on. Okay. So today in the futures market, what you need to do, you will open position. You will do long hedge. Nak letak kataan long hedge kat sini pun boleh. Right, you will buy 200 lots of December FCPO at 1,200 entity. Ni, harga ni. Okay. And then later in December, when the maturity comes, okay. Alright, you will buy the 500 tons of palm oil at a higher price which is 1,285. Okay, sebab apa? Harga dah meningkat. And then you will offset your position by closing out. Alright, you sell back. Tadi beli, sekarang jual. Sell 200 lots of December FCPO at 1296. Okay, I forgot. Where did we get the 200 contracts? Okay, this is how to calculate the number of contracts. You take the amount you need. You want to hedge, you need to hedge. 5,000 5, tons of CPO divide with one contract equals to 25 tons. Maka you akan dapat 200 contracts or lots. Okay, ah, gitu. Okay, now we will calculate the long hedge profit or loss. First, we will take a look at the futures position. Actually, anak-anak, you tak perlu pun nak cerita semua ni producer buys today. Alright, simply go straight away to the calculation. I just want to explain to you. Okay, that's why I write down the story or explanation there. Producer buys today 200 lot of December FCPO at 1230. And then, it closed out at 1296, okay, by selling back 200 lot. And always remember, walaupun entry you buy, close out sell, bila nak kira futures profit, always selling price minus the buying price. So, look at the selling price and then you will minus the buying price. So, 1296 ringgit <coughs> minus 1230 ringgit, okay, times 200 lots of contracts times 25 metric tons, you will gain how much? 330,000 ringgit. Untunglah why selling price is higher than buying price. Okay. And then in the cash market, be careful. This time in the cash market is no longer sales or revenue. You are the buyer. You are the refiner. You buy CPO. So here would be your cost of purchase. Okay. So in December, you have to buy the CPO at higher price. At how much? 1285. So the total cost of purchase. Okay. How much? RM1285 per ton times 5,000 tons, okay, you will get 6.425 thousand cost of purchase. Uh, okay, kalau you boleh beli pada harga dalam August, you cuma perlu bayar 1200 Unfortunately, by the time you want to buy, you need to buy pada December, harga naik from 1200 to 1285 okay. So, cost dah meningkat lah. Kalau you beli dalam August, 1200 darat 5000 tan cuma 6 million ringgit. Okay, but the requirement was not in August. The requirement actually in December. Ha, that's why kita bayar pada harga bulan December sebab you beli in December. So, extra cost incurred how much? 425000 lah. Okay, however, okay, this is cost or outflow. Okay, this is inflow. Futures profit. Okay. This is the profit you make in futures market. So, the net effect. Jangan tambah macam tadi. In video 1, you have to add futures profit and the revenue because both are inflows. But in this case, long H. Okay. In the futures market, you gain profit. Of course, that will be your inflows. But in the cash market, it is cost of purchase. Maka kita kena tolak minus. Don't add these two value. Okay. You have to minus. Tak kisahlah you nak ambil 6425 kosong 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 tolak 330000 it's okay janji jangan tambah okay because one is inflow another one is outflow okay all right so how much uh, is actually the cost the cost has now decreased ha cost yang cost you beli CPO 6.425 juta okay tapi because of the profit you made in the futures market menyebabkan cost dah kurang jadi 6.095 million uh, only ringgit only okay uh, but when you want to calculate the effective price abaikanlah negative tu don't put the negative sign the negative sign just to show us it is actually outflow of money or cost of purchase when you need to calculate the effective price simply ignore the negative value there all right so you take 6.095 million divided with 5,000 5, metric ton of cpo so effectively kita beli pada harga yang lebih rendah
Okay, effectively by hedging the refiner managed to buy 5,000 ton at 129 ringgit, 129 ringgit per ton instead of 1285 ringgit per ton without hedging. Kalau you tak hedge, ha, maksudnya kita beli pada 1285 but because you enter, alright, position in futures market so you have made profit of 330,000 ringgit menyebabkan effectively we can buy or the refiner managed to buy the CPO at lower price. Okay. Alright. So, effectively refiner bought 5,000 ton at 1219 even though the market price in December was 1285 ringgit per metric ton. By hedging, a, by hedging a future profit of 330,000 ringgit will be used to reduce the cost of uh, buying the physical palm oil. Okay. They jadi apa? It representing a saving to a refiner. Okay, dia baguslah, alright, untuk refiner or the buyer. A refiner achieve his objective because he has ability, right, to buy the CPO at lower price and also can minimize his cost. Okay, so let's take a look at one question. I have April 2010, a long time ago, 10 years ago. Okay, many to say 20 semesters ago, right, we have one question on long H. Okay, let's take a look at this question. You are a financial controller of BMB refinery. Senian berhad. Clear kat situ refinery. So, company ni adalah refiner lah. Okay. You are very sure that your company requires 10,000 metric ton of CPO as raw material in January 2010. Okay. Bila you nak kena beli the CPO in January 2010? Today is early October 2009. So, October, December October, November, December, January. Ha, lagi tiga bulan baru nak beli the CPO. And you, uh, dia kata apa? You expect, of course, as the buyer, you afraid the price will increase. Okay. Today is early October 2009. Physical CPO is trading at 1,660 ringgit per metric ton. Why? Okay. Let's take, let's take a look at this question carefully. Alright. Dia bagi kat kita four contract. November, December, January and February 2010. CPO features or XCPO lah. Are trading at their own price respectively lah. Dia bagi karakter for futures. So be careful in choosing the right futures. Okay. Nak tahu futures mana yang kita kena beli. Tengok today and then look at the later date. Today is what? Today is actually October 2009. When you are going to buy, you are going to buy in January 2010. So maksudnya, the related futures contract will be January FCPO. Sebab apa? The day you need to buy the CPO is the day you will close out the contract. So, hari ni kena open contract January. Be careful eh. Sama juga soalan short head push dia, dia boleh bagi kat kita list of FCPO contracts and you need to choose the right futures. Nak tengok which futures you need to buy, tengok at the later date. Kalau dia clearly dia cakap you need to buy in January, maksudnya you will open today Pada October 2009 tu, you will open January 2010 punya contract. Are you good? Are you okay? Okay. In anticipation of rising prices, establish your hedging strategy by showing the benefits uh, as measured by its effective price. Assuming that in early January, futures, clo futures price close at... RM1820 and 1830 ringgit for January and February. See, ha, tengok in January saja, respectively. And the cash price or the CPO price pada early January nanti would be 1760. Okay. So, since the CPO market is expected, ha, dia memang letak tanya ha, what strategy you should do. This is for you to understand what you should do lah. Okay, since the CPO market is expected to be uptrend, harga akan naik, this will be rise, they will be rise uh, in the cost of purchase of the CPO. Therefore, the manager should enter long position or do long hedge in the futures market. Why to take advantage of increasing price of FCPO later on? Okay, so given to us today, as at October 2009, they bagi CPO, eh? CPO price 1,660. Where is it? Here. And then, list down. You don't have to list down. Saya list down for you to clearly see. Okay, so you you will pick to open January 2010 FCPO contract today as at uh, pada harga berapa? RM1770 and at later date given to you. Okay, pada January 2010 dia bagi CPO 
uh, has increased to 1760 daripada 1660 to 1760 and the January FCPO also has increased from 1770 ringgit to 1820 ringgit so the outline of the strategy you prepare the table okay early October is your today later will be the mid of January Expect to buy 10,000 metric ton of CPO in January 2010. Expect the price to rise and this will increase. Alright, and this will increase the cost of purchase. Uh, the current market price is 1660. Ingat eh, dia tak bagi current price pun ni. It's okay because why? You are not going to buy today. You are going to buy in January. Yang penting harga pada January tu dia kena bagi. So as at today, uh, alright. Calculate the number of contract. Okay, 10,000 metric ton divide with 25 tons, you will get 400 ringgit. So, you open 400 contracts of, you open contract by buying 400 contract of January FCPO. Alright, at berapa? 1770. And later in the cash market, what will happen? Alright, you will buy lah. Tadi expect to buy, now you really buy the 10,000 metric ton of CPO at 1760. Price increase as, as, as expected. And then, in the Futures market, you have to offset or close out your position. Alright, kalau open tadi buy, you close dengan sell. So, you sell 400 contract of January 2010 FCPO at 1820. Okay. So, the futures market, sebab selling price is higher than the buying price here. So, you will gain how much? 500,000 ringgit ataupun 0.5 juta. In the cash market, they will cost 17.6 million. Okay. Laju sangat, okay. The net effect again, please remember this is cost, this is profit, so jangan tambah. So the cost yang tinggal adalah berapa? 17.1 million. Tak letak tanda negatif pun, tak letak pun tak apa. Yang penting jumlah ni jangan bertam, bertambah. Nak letak negatif pun okay kat sini ni, kat net effect. It shows that it is actually cost for you ataupun the outflow of money. Nampak tak? 500,000 positif minus 17.6 million, you get 17.1 million. Tak puas hati, tak ada negatif, you letak tanda negatif. But, when you want to calculate the effective price, ignore the negative sign. If you uh, put the negative sign there, so 17.1 million ringgit divide with uh, number of ton 10,000 ringgit, you end up getting the effective price by how much? 1,710 ringgit per ton. So, effectively, you, you could buy the CPO at lower price lah. Sebab sebenarnya you beli pada harga berapa? 1760 But because of the profit, almost, bukan almost, memang half million you make, uh, you have made here. So, menyebabkan effectively you have bought the CPO at lower price. Okay. So, that is example of Long H, April 2010. So, please rewatch these two videos, video 1 and video 2, please redo all the questions. And on top of that, please do these two questions. Look for June 2014, question 1 and October 2010, question 1. If you cannot find FIN 645, look for FIN 541. Okay? Uh, if you have problem finding the or downloading the question, let me know. Okay? Alright, so we're done with hedging. Assalamualaikum.